my first background and my, the, the most important milestone is that I'm a Sicilian. Okay, so let me describe what that means to me, the way I see it. So Sicily is uh, smack in the center of the Mediterranean and has been uh, the center of uh, many civilizations. The Autochthon one, but then the Phoenicians, the Greek, the Romans, the Byzantines, uh, uh, the Arabs, the Normans, the Germans, the French, the Spanish, you name it. So they were all there and they all left, you know, customs, language, you know, architecture, science, the great Archimedes, the, uh, art, and so on and so forth. And if you want a complexity that is uh, uh, peculiar to our island, so uh, by the way, I believe that you know, all people are complex and each one of us hosts you know, uh, multiple personalities. But very often, fortunately, the, the decency will show up, to keep in turns, showing up one at a time. In, uh, in, in a Sicilian, however, with multiple personalities, contend simultaneously for your attention, whatever you may be, and uh, never less than seven. So if you have a conversation between three people, actually there are 21 people who, who are talking and things get very complex very quickly. And all uh, communication is uh, rather indirect because everybody knows that the text is only there to convey the subtext, which is the true meaning of what you want to say. And so uh, for me, so it can be, it's a very uh, intense exercise. If you are out of practice out of the island for a while, it takes a while to figure out what is going on in a conversation. But, you know, from a cryptographer, it's a bonanza. You have one valori. Because when you want to analyze a protocol, you design a protocol for the way it should be intended to use. But you have to be wary of how other people are going to see and exploit from different parts. So if you are accustomed to have these multiple agents <laughs> concurrently at you at every point in time, so, I mean, let's put it this way. As a Sicilian in cryptography, I think I had an unfair advantage. Another, uh, another kind of you know, very early on influence and another uh, um, um, inspirational advantage is that uh, I spent 12 years in Sicily when we moved to Rome and uh, we lived uh, in a town called uh, Agrigento. Once uh, Agrigento called Agragas was uh, a very uh, rich and prosperous you know, Greek uh, city and uh, the poet Pindaros uh, used to say that uh, it was uh, the most splendid city of the mortals. But Pindaros always exaggerates. Another of the uh, inhabitants of Agragas, uh, the uh, philosopher Empedocles, which should be trusted a bit more, uh, he used to say that uh, its inhabitants built houses and temples uh, as if they were going to live forever. And they ate as if they were going to die the next day. So, which, I, by the way, I believe it is the intensity that one should approach life with. So, that is uh, my... In Sicily, when I, I, we all moved as a family to Rome, and uh, Veta, I acquired a totally new identity, but I kept my old one. So, in some sense, uh, once a Sicilian, you are always a Sicilian, and I kept <laughs> the dual nationality, similar to what you know, a citizen from a different ethnic background can have. So, I, had, uh, I believe it's a gift, it's an enrichment.